Hello my dear friends welcome to your own channel fundamentals of engineering Today we are going to see the classification of casting process So what is meant by casting process that the casting process involves the use of molten material usually metal they are used this molten metal is provided and it is poured into the mold cavity that takes the form of a finished part the molten material then cools with the heat generally being extracted via the mold until it solidifies into the desired shape so how to produce the parts by using the casting process what are the different process by using that we will get the casted part that we are going to see in today's session to get more knowledge about the casting process which are the classification for that watch the full videos if you like it don't forget to subscribe our channel click on bell icon to get more notification now if you see the casting process in that it comes under the solidification process with the casting process it having the two different process in the solidification one is the glass working another is the polymers and pmc processing and third we are having the metal casting process so polymers and pmc processing it consists of the technology that process in which the monomer that is bio based raw materials or low molecular weight substances are converted into the finished product via the chemical reaction shaping and compounding so solid this polymers processing involves the extrusion injection molding blow molding these are the different process by using that we are getting the different parts and in the glass working the glass manufacture product that can be heated and blow molded and all the shapes we are getting with this glass mold so today we are focusing on this metal casting process the metal casting is broadly divided into two processes one is the expandable mold casting another is the permanent mold casting so these are the two broad process in which the metal casting is divided first we'll see the expandable mold casting process in that the first comes the sand casting so at the right hand side you'll see the photograph of the casting process how it carried out so sand casting also known as a sand molded casting in a metal casting process it is characterized by using a sand as a mold material the term sand casting can also be referred to the object produced by the sand casting process the sand casting are produced in a specialized factories called foundries over 60% of all metal casting are produced by the sand casting process so many kind of pistons walls blowers or impellers cans bushings and bearings electronic equipments gas oil tanks most hardware engine blocks and automobile parts are manufactured by using sand casting process second expandable mold casting process that is nothing but shell molding so in shell molding also known as shell mold casting so these are the process you can see here it is an expandable mold casting process that uses resin covered sand in the form of mold so sand casting we are using the sand here in the shell molding we are using the resin as compared to the sand casting this process has better dimensional accuracy and a higher productivity rate and lower labor requirements it is used for the small to medium parts that require high precision the examples of sole molded items include the gear housings cylinder blocks cylinder heads and connecting rods it is also used to make high precision molding cores the next expandable mold casting is vacuum molding in this vacuum molding sometimes referred as a vacuum forming It is a straight forward molding process that uses a vacuum pressure to force a sheet of heated and stretched plastic into the single surface mold. The numerous household items are made from the vacuum forming plastic. That your own home, the plastic bathtub in your bathroom, the plastic utensils and appliances that can be 
found in various kitchen the garden equipments that is stored in the shed these are made by this vacuum molding process next is expandable polystyrene it is a expanded polystyrene casting process a sand mold is packed around a polystyrene pattern representing the metal casting to be manufactured the pattern is not removed and the molten metal is poured into the pattern which is vaporized which is vaporized from the heat of the metal the variety of applications you can see the expandable polystyrene it is referred as eps as for thermal insulation boards in a building construction and packaging products insulation foam is also used in the closed cavity walls roofs and floor insulations it is automatic choice for the electronic cube positioning and packaging next process of expandable mold casting is the investment casting it is also known as a precision casting or lost lost wax casting in a manufacturing process in which the wax pattern is used to shape a disposal ceramic mold wax pattern is made in the exact shape of the item to be cast this pattern is coated with a refractory ceramic material the ceramic pouring cup you can see there and where most number of parts the delicate parts are made by this investment casting include the turbine blades medical equipments firearm firearm components gears jewelry golf club heads and many other machine components with a complex geometry that can be made by using this investment casting next process is the plaster mold casting you can see the different types of a plaster mold casting it is a metal working process similar to the sand casting except that the molden or molding material is a plaster of paris instead of sand we are using pop instead of sand like sand casting plaster mold casting is an expandable mold process however it can be used only for non ferrous materials the process is used for only non ferrous materials and the parts which are typically made by this plaster casting are lock components gears walls fittings toolings and ornaments next process is the ceramic mold casting where the ceramic slurry is poured over a relief pattern and left to the solidify forming a cavity mold in the shape of the component to be cast cope and drag parts are produced each ceramic part is hardened by a high temperature firing and then fitted together to make one hollow mold in which the cast the molten metal using stainless steel and bronze the ceramic mold casting is the best suited for the casting of wide variety of products ranging from household goods to the industrial tools some of the casted products are kitchen ways like kettles industrial products like impellers complex cutting tools plastic mold tooling etc that can be produced by using ceramic mold casting so these are the expandable mold casting process next metal casting process is the permanent mold casting in that the first process is the permanent mold casting where the producing a large number of casting using a single reusable mold the casting process simplify or simply involves pouring molten metal into the mold where it cools and solidifies the mold is then open and the casting is removed and the mold can be used for the next product it is can be reused the common permanent mold parts include gears automotive pistons and car wheels are by made by using this permanent mold casting process next is gravity die casting it is a permanent mold casting process where the molten metal is poured from a vessel or ladle into the mold the mold cavity fills with no force other than gravity filling can be controlled by tilting the die 
The typical products include cylinder heads, wheel hubs and pistons which can be made by the non-ferrous material, crankshafts, die brake parts or disc brake parts and hydraulic components which are made by ferrous material for the automotive industry. The next process it is a pressure die casting where the high pressure die casting process where the molten metal is forced under a high pressure into the seal mold cavity. It is held in a place by a powerful compressive power where the true die is installed in hydraulic machines until the metal is solidified. The parts which are produced by using this pressure die casting like locks and gears as a finished products. Other examples we can see that hooks, toys, door handles, pumps, power tool housing, golf clubs and general engineering casting that can be produced. There the majority of products requiring the strength of a seamless metal parts like taps and pump handles. This can be produced by using pressure die casting process. Then last permanent mold casting process is the centrifugal casting where it is the method to produce the pies by the pouring molten metal into the rapidly spinning cylindrical mold in which the centrifugal force from the rotation experts or exerts the pressure on the molten metal. The typical materials that can be centrifugal cast are metal, cements, concrete, glass and pottery materials. Typical metals that can be cast are iron, steel, stainless steel and alloys of nickel, alumni and copper. That in the centrifugal casting the two materials can be combined by introducing the sickle material during the process. So these are the process which are come under permanent mold casting. So we have seen how the solidification process is classified into these three main domain. Then we have seen the metal casting process how they are differentiate and what are the process coming under this casting process. Hope you like it. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe our channel, stay connected and click on bell icon to get more notification. Thank you. Thank you very much.